Hey guys, Travis here with Salty Southern Fishing. Uh, pretty crappy day here in uh, Northeast Florida, here in Green Cove Springs. The raining all day. Um, was gonna try and get out tomorrow, but forecast just looks horrible. So, um, the good news is, I did get my new edition of the uh, Mystery Tackle Box Pro. So I'm gonna dive in. I'm interested to see this one uh, specifically because we're starting to get into the the winter weather here. So with the water becoming clear, I'm, I'm curious to see if they actually install some maybe more wintry type uh, lures in here just to kind of match the season. Um, it, it's difficult with how widespread that the company goes, um, but we'll see what happens. So let's dig into this thing. All right, open her up. Uh, seems a little light this month. We'll see, as always, we got our little challenge here. Um, catch a fish with any of their lures, take a picture of the fish, send it in, you could win a prize. I haven't done it myself yet, but something pretty cool. All right, so first off, we have some just hooks, a set of three. Let's see, they're stopper lures. Never heard of them. Um, a little bit of square shape to them. Probably good for live bait. Looks like they got some. We have three in here, uh, different sizes. Definitely a live bait type of hook. Uh, looks like the value is around. Let me see. Once I get here, Do they have one this month. Huh. Dark day, sorry for the lighting. Oh, there we go, finally on the back. So again, um, we have our stopper lures. They are three bucks for three of these. Um, I'll try these out, definitely look sharp. So, hey, always use hooks, right? Use it, probably lose these more than anything. <laughs> so, good call. Especially with the live bait, um, mullet running, that works for me. Uh, of course, as always, our sticker, and I actually really, really like this sticker. American flag can't go wrong. Uh, has some hooks and different lures down in there on the flag. All right, let's see what we got next. Ooh, it looks like it's a. It says another Strike Pro. Um, that mullet color right there, that red and white rattle, works really well for my area. This actually um, is actually kind of what I was thinking with a winter top water right there that way um, you know the water clarity being much improved uh, you know as we get further into the winter um, those fish are gonna strike those top waters a, a lot better um, so the perfect thing for me was I had one of these in the it, it was old about 10 years old but the, the hooks rusted off so I have a new one nice works really well for me um, let's see yeah. Anyways, I had a Strike Pro before. Tried it out. Uh, good lure. Uh, haven't caught any fish on it. I only use it for about ten minutes. Um, but this one runs. Let's see, ten bucks. All right. So ten bucks right there. So already we're looking at thirteen dollar value. I like the rattle on that. Next up, we have Spectail Rig. So looks like a combination of a, of a little bucktail jig with a little worm on it um, these are gonna run let's see spec line 250 all right so we get two with each uh, they already have the monofilament line actually attached to them so all I have to do you can see that is tie them up and that's gonna be something good just kind of jig with um, 1 8 ounce so perfect for usually what I use uh, and 1 tenth hook size there. Um, good action, something that probably actually do pretty well here. I like the bright colors on that as well. I got something similar to this, um, but it was just two, uh, I think it was like a redfish jig um, without the, the worm there, so something a little different. Cool. Let's see, next up we have Weston Shad Tees Motor Oil Gold Minnows. Um, so let's see, these run about six bucks, and this one already comes with its little uh, jig, so to speak. Um, the, 
first of all, shads, I actually don't buy too many of these, um, but not on purpose. The four inches here, this is going to do really well for me in shallow water, especially as more of the redfish and the trout, kind of mostly redfish, pull into those creeks. This is going to be great for that shallow water area, and I like the color. Uh, for me, this dark, let's see what I say color it was, it's a motor oil gold. Um, but for me, this darker color usually does pretty good for the most part. Um, as we get into the clearer water, though, I'd expect something a little lighter. But for what I use, this is lighter than most. I usually use a dark green, pumpkin-ish. Um, so, again, going kind of with the trend of, of a, a winter type of uh, box, doing pretty good, uh, I would say. Uh, you know, can't be super specific, but this is definitely a bait that I will try as I get into the back creeks, shallow creeks, and, and see what I can do. Um, not a big fan of the jig head, but it is something that I can use. Um, I'll probably put my own down there. Let's see, next up, what's this? We have de-fishing soap. This is one of their specials that you can actually order from their website. This is uh, $129 a pack, so we'll round up to two bucks. So. Right now we're looking at, uh, let's see, 10, 13, 15, 21, $24, um, the fishing soap. We'll definitely use this uh, when I catch fish, especially mullet, how bad they stink. Something I actually use on the yak uh, turns my hands off. So, cool little addition right there. Um, if it works, I'll definitely buy more of this. That way I don't come home stinking and my fiance doesn't yell at me. Last up, it looks like I said the best for last. Tide Minnow Surf. Hmm. From Duo Reels, Duo Custom. That is a nice looking lure right there. Again, um, actually quite impressed. Going with a lighter color for that winter theme, that clearer water. Uh, very nice. So, <laughs> with the big term surf there and all around, I would assume it's mainly for surf fishing. Uh, Japanese brand it looks like because I can't read a lick of that but um, rattle a couple uh, or a few of the folks down in there um, is Japanese big old long hook don't know what this will catch a um, little unsure about this one looks like it's going to be uh, three to five footer uh, depth diver um, but this sells for twenty four dollars so even though this may not be my favorite thing in the box it's worth twenty four dollars something I wouldn't buy on my own so something to consider all right uh, I will use it at times if I'm looking for that a big old fish probably good for trout uh, for me um, so we'll see what we can do um, especially if you're going to be doing some surf fishing or, or maybe some wade fishing probably a really good lure uh, especially for that depth but any questions comments go feel free to comment below um, as always I'll be back next month with the next mystery tackle box update um, from here uh, as I use them I'll usually update I'm hoping to get out in the next couple weeks well next week I'm on Christmas break so we'll go from there till then see you guys later